let's take a look at this clock while we have a little bit of light let's take a look at our clock here one of the really good things about the leap pq9912 clock is that a lot of the settings that you'll need are right there on the back check that out so you ask uh, how easy is it to do just turn it on right there and it's set for one minute so let's say that you wanted to uh, you wanted to set the time for something different than say a one minute game right you say well I don't want just a minute game. I want another time. What have you got besides that? Chinese. No, actually, we're going to go to English over here in a second. I have been extremely busy, and I have not had time to translate to a full-blown English user's manual with video on both DVD and PD, the DVD. Oh God, I'm so sleep prep. I have not had time yet, so apology to everyone. I have not had time yet to translate this to English with all the little subtle nuances for American English. But I will be translating this and making a PDF that you will be able to download online and also as well, we'll be doing videos on this. Uh, single period breakdowns right here. This is why we need to get that macro, huh? Yeah, we're gonna get that lens, the little adapter that goes on the lens, just like that. Well, actually it's more like click. But what we're gonna do on a serious note, it's time to be serious, not laughing and joking because this is for our sponsor so yours truly will be doing a lot of the translation and making this very very user friendly very easy to use this clock i would rate it from one to ten to be honest with you like are you gonna say some high number because they're your sponsor if we never got sponsored and we were just looking to buy a clock they said from one to ten would you give it like a five would you give it a six we would give it a nine a nine or a ten i myself having used a lot of different clocks i would rate this clock this right here this pq9912 as being on a scale of one to ten i would give it a ten easily without even thinking i'd give it a 10 absolutely it is the if you want the best clock in the world the best chess clock that you could get that i would say that money could buy and not just for the price range i would go with this clock when we looked around at a bunch of different clocks and we compared we narrowed it down whether we got sponsors or we had to raise the funds and do fundraisers and we had to actually purchase 25 clocks no matter what they cost what clock would we go with if we won the lottery and we could buy any clock in the world what clock would we buy right there my friend right there oops hold on have to turn the camera a little bit move that out of the way I'm still in it's still in the in the view isn't it well it's not there now we would go with the leap PQ 9912 clock because it is hands down the best clock that money can buy out of all the clocks we reviewed we were looking for the best equipment in the world because we want to give the kids the best so PC, Parents and Children's Chess Club, you want the kids to have memories of a lifetime. And the memory we want them to have is a memory of Leap. Uh, 
I could go on and on and say great things about it. Uh, what I would say is uh, when we did a comparison, on a serious note, when we did a comparison between the DGT 3000 model and the Leap PQ9912, that was our winner. Like, uh, if you're in America, you know something called Consumer Reports, where they're straight down the middle, they're neutral, they're not biased for anybody, they just do product testing. We looked, over here, we looked at all of these. Get my thumb out of the way. We looked at all of these, all the different settings that it would do, okay? and all the presets and how easy is it to operate, how difficult, it is incredibly easy to operate. One thing that I'd like to say now is your single setting times right here, you can see right there, single setting times. If you need, say, a five minute game, you just go to setting number one. Okay, now what is F01? Right here, user programmable. F meaning user programmable. So we had it set if you wanted to do that right there. So if you wanted to do one of the other settings, like right there. Number one, five minute game. You push this plus when you want to go to the next one and you say, okay, for instance, I want to play game in 45, right there. So you look at number 30, go back here on the box, you look at game in 45, right there, 30. So, if you lose your box, which I would suggest, like you've seen us do in the videos, we pack up the clocks, we put them in a big crystal clear tub, big see-through tub, and we kept all our boxes. They make beautiful, absolutely beautiful storage boxes. They're easy to gift wrap if you want to give this as a present, and they're made by Leap. The I feel the best clock chess clock maker in the world. They also have really wonderful stopwatches if you would like a really good stopwatch for your fitness goals. And they also have the uh, combo stopwatch and countdown timer, the TF6204 model. We will be doing a video on that one as well. But right now we're doing the clock video and this is just an intro video this is not in depth this is just an introduction video it's just basics so you look on here you go to number 30 and you can hold this down I did that on purpose so that what if you went past it, right? You, you wanted to go to 30, just go backwards. There you go. And now it's set for game in 45. You say, well, okay, I can't do game in 45. Um, I want to do game in 25. So what is the number for game in 25? Look on the back of your box. Number two, so you have about 40 settings because it goes to 38 and then F and then zero, zero. So do you hold this down and just go a little bit or do you hold it and go backwards? If you hold it and go backwards, it's gonna get there, but if you hold the forward button, you're gonna get there sooner. There you go. Now, how easy is that? That is incredibly easy. Now, let's say that you need a delay. 
you need a single period countdown and you want to do uh, a delay okay so you want to do say a 30 minute game with 10 second delay per move you go up to here number 37 you just go backwards this is the fastest way to get there just push that we'll say that you push too far you're looking for number 37 which is going to be your number in the middle so just go up 36 37 and then right there is your delay it'll flash and that word right there says delay I'll try to zoom in for you so you can see it Now, push that and you're ready to go. You'll notice on the Kings, and we'll show an example here, game in 30 with a 10 second delay per move. All right, so that side is white. You see a clear King, that side is black. Okay, so you start out, you make your move. Nothing happens, right? You say, wait a minute. Nothing's happened. Oh, is the clock broke? No. When you push this, if you want white on that side, leave it as is. You'll notice the red band, easy to spot when it's raised up, okay, that's white. If you push it down, the other side's raised up, now that side's white. You see the red band? with the bar raised up, that side's white. So you put this down, whichever side you want to be white, pick a side. Let's say that you're white over here. So now you're ready to begin your chess game. What do you do? Push this button in the middle right here. Push that button. Now it started. Now you'll notice it's counting down. Now, you go ahead and push this, and it's going to start the delay on the other side. And you say, well, how do I know what the, the uh, move is? Like, what's the move number? What move am I on? Okay. I'm just doing that so that we can make some moves come up. What would happen if you were to push this? Nothing. What would happen if you push the other one? Nothing. What if you push the middle one? You see what happens? If you push it and hold it down, you'll be able to adjust the time. So like if you wanted to customize it, if you wanted to give more time, like let's say that you wanted this person to have 10 minutes extra, just like that. And maybe this person did something penalty, so we're going to keep going and you can even adjust the seconds. Look at that. You can even adjust the seconds. Go to here. Now this person, they, they did touch move and you say tournament director, they did touch move. Oh, penalty. You're going to lose uh, two minutes on your clock. I'm going to put penalty. You lose two minutes. So instead of them having 29 minutes left, 
you take off two minutes they say I don't care don't tell me what to do oh then you have smart aleck attitude okay you have attitude you want to give me attitude okay I deduct five minutes penalty and then resume once you once you go all the way to the end out to here then you push the little button it will resume so how do you find your move right let's see what happens look in here you're gonna get this little book with you but I'm gonna walk you through it I'm gonna show you how to find your move your move counter Take your time. Go through, try to find it, check the move number. You say, well, how do I know? I don't want to read this book. Why don't you just tell me? Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. So this is going. What you do is push either one of these for three seconds and hold it. So go three seconds. There's your move. You have six moves for black and you have seven moves for white then you let it go so you're playing the game right you make a move now it's their turn they make a move stop their clock now you make a move stop your timer they make a move stop their timer and then you make some fast moves back and forth grab something move grab something move Push upon, move, push upon, time, push upon, time, move your king, move your king, and you push the timer again. You just hold the clock back here, hold it down for three seconds, and it says 12. See? Right there, it says 12. That means that you've both made 12 moves. And also, too, you can see where it says the word move. Now, that's an example. If you wanted to pause the clock, push it in the middle, and hold it. Okay. Now, that will stop your time if, like, you need to call a tournament director, you want to pause it. You go bring the tournament director. They look at your chess game. They make a decision. They say, no. No penalty, uh, it's not illegal move what they did. Go ahead, finish your game. They're gonna do, well. Just like that, you need to hold it down till it quits flashing and then push it and it will resume your time, see? It's like that. That's what I was telling you guys. This clock is so easy to use. It is so incredibly easy to use. It's a lot of fun. Also on the back, if you take this to a tournament, like you can do this. You can have your chess pieces in here. I'll show you. Come here, look, I'll show you. You can put your chess pieces in here <laughs> and we're gonna let the clock run. Just put all your pieces in here. Move this. Put all your pieces in here. See? Already got pieces. You can put your clock in here. You can put your book. Or when we get the uh, PDF, you can make a printout and you can carry it with you. And there you go. You're all set. Roll up your chessboard, put it in this little sleeve, 
and you have room to put a notepad to put the score pad did we bring score pads with us i think we brought score pads let me get a score pad Now, you have room, whichever one of these that you want to use, if you want this kind of score pad, okay, goes with this book. You could bring that. You could bring the other kind of score pad. You could bring them both. Unzip this. Put this in here with your clock, with the clock. There's room for all of it. There is room for all of it, my friend. All of it, it will all fit in there. There you go. So easy, it's so, so easy to do. You're gonna love this clock. Oh, you're really gonna love this clock. Now, if you take your time and you don't just throw it in there, it will look a lot better and it will be a lot easier to do. Level this out. Put your scorebook in here. Put that in there. Just like that. Put your scorebook. Move your pieces over. Just move them out of the way. You're going to love this clock. When you get when you go to search for Leap PQ9912, you're going to get the best chess clock in the world. Oh, I'm not I'm not even kidding you, my friend. And also one thing that will help is don't turn your clock. You can turn it any kind of way, but to make it fit a little easier, you see this side's big and this side small. Turn it around and put it in here, like this. Hold on. We got a piece, we got a piece jammed down in the bottom. Hold on. You're gonna have to clear out some of those pieces first. There it is. We had a we had a little pawn down in the bottom. And you can see now it's a lot flatter. And there's obviously room you could put a pen or pencils down in there. There you go. You could even put an analysis set in here to take with you. I'll show you. Let's grab a pencil. So for children, this is just a pencil we had. I work with children. My other voice is like this when I'm usually working with adults. It's a different voice. But when you're dealing with children and parents, you talk more like this, like Disney. So anyway, you put your pencil down in there or your pen and you have a little analysis set right you want to take that analysis set with you no problem hold on
There you go. It's all zip shut. Like I promised you, my friend, you can put all of that in there. And then you take a board. Take your board, roll it up. Take your little sleeve right here. Put that in there. Now, guess what? You are ready for your next chess game. You got your board, you got your pieces, everything. You could take one of the little analysis boards. If you roll them up really, really small, you could fit them down in there. You could fit them right down in there. Now, I do it all the time. And so you can actually put both of them together. You don't believe me? Here, I'll show you. Don't believe me? I'll show you. We do this all the time. Here's the analysis board that you're gonna to wanna to take with you, okay? So you're gonna roll this up really, really small, like this. I want you to roll it up really, really tight, okay? Really small. There you go. See, we don't lie to you at PC Chess Club. We tell you the truth. If it was not so, my friend, I would tell you. So you take this out. Okay. You get to your tournament or your chess club, maybe just a friend's house, you wanna play chess. You have your analysis set and you have your board. You have your analysis set and your board. You have your score pad right there. You have instruction book if you need to refer back to the instructions. And you'll also have our video to show you. And you have the clock. Okay? So let's say that you want to change this. You want one of the other time controls, right? With a different delay. That's easy too. That's also very easy to do. I'm going to find you the picture. There we go. Now. That's for delay, okay? If you want a bonus, like you want a five minute game and you want to add a bonus, like let's say that you you want to add a little bit of time each one you go to here you go to number nine that's going to be five minute game with three seconds if you want a short game go to number eight that's going to be three minute game with two seconds each time so let's go to number nine we'll do a five minute game and we want a bonus, right? So we're gonna stop this one. They say, well, what happened? Do you stop it in the middle? What happens if you stop it in the middle? That's what happens. If you stop it in the middle, it's gonna still keep going. That's not how you stop it. You push this button here. That'll stop your time. If you wanna resume the game,
So when you see this, it's going to say the word delay. See? It's going to say the word delay. Did you see that? says delay yeah it's starting to get dark out here so we're gonna have to wrap up this introduction video okay now you want to change this you want to go to a different one now there's your delay There's five and 10. So if you push this again, it will start. And over here, they have 16. So how do you get to the next one, right? We want to change it. We want to show, you say, show me the one where it's a uh, five minute game and they add three seconds bonus every move, right? If you push this down and hold it, they made 29 moves. They made 30 moves. When you see dark, that's black. And that side's white. See? If we had a light, you could see. You could see it now. Oh, you could really see it now. See where it says the word delay? No, I think it's just getting too dark out here to see it. We need to do it in the sunlight. Turn this light out. We'll get a better one for a second. Push this. Now, when you see this little arrow, when you see that little arrow in the middle, that means whose move it is. Okay, so we say that we want to change it, right? We want to change it. What do we do? If we hold this down, it's just going to continue the game. Oh, no. You say, oh no, what do I do? I'm, I, I messed up. What do I do? How, how do you do this? That will pause it. See? See the little pause in the middle? The two lines in the middle means your game is paused. And you say, I don't care about all that. Show me, show me the number nine. How do I get to number nine? You know the easiest way to get there? the very easiest way this is the very easiest way turn it off wait a second turn it back on now just start pushing the numbers
right there. That's your delay and your bonus. Now I'm trying to show you where it says the word bonus. Can anybody see that word bonus? Okay, you can see where it says bonus, okay? So if you want to increase the bonus, what do you do? There's a 15 minute. There's 20, you increase by five. So every time you push this, now it's 50 minutes. That's 11. See, because when it's blinking, when you push this button, you're gonna go like setting number 11. We wanna go back to number nine, right there. Now push the button in the middle. Now we want to adjust this from three second delay. We wanna say, okay, I don't want three second delay. I, I'm slow. Can you give me five second delay? Yes, no problem. Just push this. Now, push again. When you see it blinking, okay, let it keep going. And if this person over here is more fast, you can do this. You can take off the time, just like 30 seconds. We say we we say this person's slow, we want to give them 30 seconds extra. Okay? So now you can see this person will have five minutes, 30 seconds. This person will have five minutes. So they get 30 seconds more. So if you say, what about you want just like one second, two second, like like penalty, okay? that costs you two seconds you go to here and you can adjust see just two seconds so you keep going now here is where you adjust the bonus after you adjust the time you're gonna adjust the bonus so one person gets a little extra time. You get five second bonus every move. Whoops, wrong one. And then, sorry about that. Then you have five seconds. You go to the other side, they get five seconds. You notice it goes for both sides. If you adjust and you say, I want 10 second bonus because I'm slow I need more time or like I have this clock for children and I need them to be able to have time to write down the moves right you want them to write down the moves no problem we give them 10 seconds Now watch what happened. Only one side gets a bonus, right? Go. 
The time starts. Now, they say 30 is 27. This one's six seconds. 503, they add 10 seconds. What does this person get? 23, no time. They get no bonus. So that means one side can get bonus. Like every time you make a move, they will give you five seconds, 10 seconds. They'll give you a little more time, okay? They, they're gonna give you more time. But if you want to go back and correct the settings, you say only one person is getting the, the bonus. How, where's my bonus? How come I don't get a bonus? You wanna go like this. Pause it, hold it for three seconds. Now, right there is the key. That's the part. 10 seconds bonus, zero. So we're gonna fix it. Push the one in the middle, then it goes to the next one blinking. Push it in the middle again. Now, push one time, 10 seconds. Now, both person will get 10 seconds. Hold it down. Now, watch what happens, okay? Watch what happens. Start your clock, 444, 20, 29. 41, 40, 50, add 10 seconds. You get to 20, okay? So you're gonna be 20 seconds, boom, 10 seconds. You get to the 45, boom, 55. You go five seconds, you make a move, it adds 10 seconds. You use five seconds, now it adds 10 seconds. So you get to 25 and you make your move. Now it's 35. You go to 55, make your move. Now it adds 10 seconds. Each time you move, it's gonna add 10 seconds. See how easy that is to do? This is an easy clock to use. You're going to love this clock. I promise you, my friend, you're going to love this clock. What if you want to have like 30 seconds for every move, right? Here's how you do it. You're gonna, t oop. See, and it's tough. Look at this. You drop the clock, not like hard, but if you drop it on the table, just a couple of inches, it's not gonna break. This is a very reliable company. Leap is professional company, very good. I think they're the best clock maker for chess clocks in the world. And this one has just about as many, if not more features than the DGT 3000. DGT 3000 is a lot more expensive, so they're helping you save money. Leap is helping you. So if you wanted to change it, turn it off, turn it back on. Now, you're gonna wanna go to uh, number 26. Hold that down. Now, begin. It's set 30 seconds each time. Go. It's reset for 30 seconds. Every move in your game is 30 seconds. See, it goes back to 30 seconds. What if I want 10 seconds for every move? Again, just go like this. Hold this down. Now go through. Now, 
Bring this down to 10. Bring this down to 10. Now, you have 10 seconds for every move. Go. Now watch what happens. It's gonna go back to 10 seconds. No, it's gonna go to 30 seconds, hold on. Now, see, this person lost. Right there, they lost. Their flag, you can see the flag. That person lost. That means you lost, time's up, you lose. So you just stop the game and you do another one. But it's a very easy clock to use. It is so easy to use. And you can set it if you want it to go for uh, 30 seconds every move, then you can do that. And you want it 10 seconds every move, you can do that, no problem. Hold on. You're gonna have to turn it off Turn it back on. Now, Let's see what happens. 10 seconds. It's back on 10 seconds. You go, it's back on 10 seconds. So any time, you can set five seconds every move. So every time you move in the chest, that's called lightning chest. You can see I just showed you how to do it. Maybe it's a flip. So what I was saying is right now you got it set for 10 seconds every move. What if you wanted to set it for say five seconds every move and you say, well, okay, I want to play somebody speed chess and we're going to play chess and every move you only get five seconds. You never get more than five seconds. How do I do it? Well, you put it on, on number 26. We'll just turn it on and turn it off, and I'll show you how. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Now, it's already set. It remembers where you were last time. So you're going to push the button in the middle. Okay? Hold it down. Keep holding it down until it starts blinking. there now you can see it starting to blink see that's the key right there you want it to start blinking push that one in the middle that means okay if this one is where you want it the next one the next number is where you want it push okay that one's okay that one's not where i want it so i'm gonna push a zero the next one, I'm going to push five. Now, I'm going to show you if you want the person to only have five seconds. Now, notice when I go to the other side, it's automatic. Five seconds, right here, five seconds.
See? Five seconds a piece, right? Okay, what about handicap? One person is fast, one person is slow. Okay, let's say that you play five seconds for every move and you want to write down, one person's gonna write down the chess moves. Here's what you do. Push okay, push okay. We're gonna give you a little more time. We're gonna give you like five seconds extra to write down the chess move. Now, we're gonna see what happens. Now, you see, so far, we're gonna test it. One side has five seconds for every move in the game. The other side should have 10 seconds. Check out this neat clock. We're gonna start the game. Ready? Go. Five seconds. Now you're back to five seconds. This person, they should have 10 seconds because they have to need to write down the move. Make your move, write it down. Okay, they gotta hurry, think of a move. Okay, that's my move. Now, you make your move. Okay, hurry, write it down. So you write down your move, push your time. Okay, make a move. Hurry, one second. Oh, you just barely made it. Now you make a move. Uh, okay, that's my move. Write it down, hurry, hurry, write it down. Hit your clock. Now, you thinking of a move, uh, go. One second, this person is thinking of a move. Um, okay, that's it, write it down, hurry, write it down, write it down. Now the next person, they're thinking of a move. Oh, they lost, too slow. Nope, sorry, too slow. So what would happen if you were to start the game over? If you were to turn this off and turn it back on, what would happen? What would be the settings? Would they go back to 30 seconds? Let's find out. I know the answer, but I want you to learn. I want you to watch the video and learn how to do this. You turn it back on and look what happened. Your original settings, what you set it for, are gonna still be there. See, they're gonna still be there. So you say, okay, but I wanna put it back like it was. Can you, can you just put it back? See, this is what it means, the 30M. That means 30 seconds per move. 30M is 30 seconds per move. Can you see? 30 seconds per move, okay? So you say, put it back. No, 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 put it back, put it back. Put it back to 30 seconds each move. Hold that down. Hold it down again till it starts blinking. You see the light over here blinking? Right here, see? Now, go back. Now push the three. Go to the next one and minus. We want zero, 30. Now it's all set. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, just like on the box. 30 seconds per move. So we wanna save this, we're, we're all done. We wanna save it, we're gonna put it back just like the default, just like the factory, okay? So we're gonna push this, we're done. Hold it down. Now, when you see all the numbers up here, all these numbers, they're not blinking, you're all done. Now, you're gonna turn this off. Wait a couple of seconds. Turn it back on. You're gonna go to the next one. We're going to do a different one, okay? We're going to do one where you have more than one time, okay? So what if, you, what if you have more than one time, okay? 
So let's say that you have uh, 20 minutes and then 15 minutes by move 25, okay? So setting number 23, we're gonna go to here. There, we're gonna go to that. 25 moves, that's what your timing is set for. 25 moves, okay? This one, game time is 20 minutes. This is called B Bio Yomi. It's 20 minutes plus 15 minutes and 25 moves. Game time is 20 minutes when the game time counts down to zero the player has 15 minutes to make 25 moves after you make 25 moves the 15 minutes time will refresh okay so your game is set for 20 minutes when you use up all your 20 minutes when it gets down to zero like this zero zero all your time is zero Okay, you're gonna have only 15 minutes and you're gonna have to make 25 moves. So we're gonna fix that, we're gonna change it. How do we do that? We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go into the settings. We're gonna push that, now hold it down till it starts blinking, okay? Now, we're gonna do the same 20 minutes, okay? But we're gonna speed it up so I can show you an example here. We're going to go to say, um, we're going to go to 30, we'll say 30 seconds. Okay. For here, we'll do 30 seconds. Push that. There's 30 seconds, go on to the next one. Keep that 30 seconds for each side. So the game is 30 seconds. Then you have 15 minutes, okay? And it says uh, game time is 20 minutes. When the game time counts down to zero, the player has 15 minutes to make 25 moves. We're gonna say that you got one minute, not 15, you got one minute. So we're gonna change this. We're gonna reduce him to zero. We're gonna go to this next one, reduce him to one minute. There, to one minute. Now, you're gonna have to do the all the 25, and I'm gonna show you, keep pushing it. Now, this is where you have the move counter, how many moves that you have to do, okay? So we're gonna say, um, keep that 25 right where it is. Go right here. Now, we're gonna go. Ready, go. We're gonna let this guy go all the way to zero, okay? Just let the clock run out because when he gets to uh, zero, instead of the game being 20 minutes, it's only 30 seconds. When it gets to zero, he's gonna have one minute to make 25 moves. See, one minute. So you make a move, make a move, make a move, make a move, 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 move. He still got lots of time. You gotta hurry up.
So you want to see where is how much moves you are at. Push that for three seconds. You're only at 15 moves. Oh my God, you better hurry up. So you're going to have to make a move. They do it. Make a move. Hit your clock. Do something. Make a move. Hurry. Make a move. Hit your clock. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? And then you say, oh no, how, how, how much time do I have? How much time do I have? It, you don't have to hit either button. Just pick one. Hold it down for three seconds. You're 23 and they're 22. So you know you got 23. Now you're like, how many moves am I? Hold it down for three seconds. You're 23. Hurry. Just make a move. And then uh, you uh, let them make some move and you got to hurry, make your move. You say, what if I don't get to the moves in time? Then you lose. So they figure it's an easy move. Now, you see how it went back? It gave you another one minute which would have been another 15 minutes so you can do some amazing things with this clock this is an incredible clock i've never ever seen any you want to pause it just hold that down in the middle and there you go it's all zeros whatever you want it to be and you can reset it put it back like it was you say, I'm going to look on the box. It was 20, 15, and 25. Okay, so I'm going to go back and set it back like it was. I'm going to set 20. All right. Set it for 20. Now I want to set this back to 15. Push that to go to the next one. Now keep pushing this until you get to five, okay? 14, 15, or three, four, five. Okay, go to the next one. Take that number off. That has to be a zero. Now, you don't want 15 minutes. Don't you just hate loud motorcycle when you're trying to listen to a video and learn something? Yeah, I do. So, we want this one to be back to zero okay we, we don't want this to be 15 minutes for one side 15 minutes and 10 seconds for the other side so we're going to put this back we're going to okay we're going to okay now we're going to keep this like it was 25 moves they have to do 25 moves and then we're going to okay okay that go to the other side okay Okay, that. Now, you're all done. You're all set. And that is a brief introduction. That is just how easy it is to use the Leap Clock. Especially the Leap PQ9912. The PQ9912 chest timer is the absolute best chest timer on the market today. It is the best chess clock in the world. It will serve all your needs, and it is actually quite easy to operate. So head on over to Leap and see if you can get your PQ9912 chess timer today. And that is a wrap for PC Chess Club and Chess at the Park. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.
Now, we've done a wrap on the clock. We're gonna put the clock up. We will also be showing the clock in the daytime when there is a lot of sun, sunlight, and we will be showing how to operate all the settings. So we will go through and we will show you on all of these 